on hearing these hymns containing the essence of truth. The Supreme Lord Krishna said, Brahma, if you experience the inclination to create offspring by being endowed with real knowledge of the glory of Godhead, listen, my beloved, from me to this science set forth in the following five shlokas. Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati's purport. The Supreme Lord became propitious when Brahma, with great eagerness, chanted the names Krishna and Govinda, expressive of the form, attributes, and pastimes. Brahma was actuated by the desire for mundane creation. Krishna then said to Brahma how pure, unalloyed devotion can be practiced by souls engaged in worldly occupations by combining the same with the desire for carrying out the behest of the Supreme Lord. The knowledge absolute is knowledge of the glory of Godhead. If you want to procreate offspring, being endowed with such knowledge, listen attentively to the science of devotion that is contained in the following five shlokas. How bhakti is practiced by performing worldly duties in the form of carrying out the commands of the Supreme Lord is being described. When pure spiritual experience is excited by means of cognition and service, bhakti, super excellent unalloyed devotion, characterized by love for Godhead, is awakened toward Krishna, the beloved of all souls. Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati's purport. Real knowledge is nothing but knowledge of one's relationship to the Absolute. Real knowledge is identical with the knowledge of subjective natures of chit, animate, achit, inanimate, and Krishna, and of their mutual relationship. Here, mental speculation is not alluded to, since that is antagonistic to bhakti. The knowledge that embraces only the first seven of the ten basic principles, dasamula, is the knowledge of relationship. The substantive nature of the spiritual function, abhideha, inculcated by the science of devotion, hearing, chanting, meditation, tending his holy feet, worshipping by rituals, making prostrations, doing menial service, practicing friendship, and surrendering oneself are identical with practicing the search for Krishna. It is specifically described in the Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu. Devotion, characterized by love for Godhead, makes her appearance by being awakened through such knowledge and practice. Such devotion is super-excellent bhakti and is no other than the final object of attainment of all spiritual endeavor of the individual soul. The highest devotion is attained in slow degrees by the method of constant endeavor for self-realization with the help of scriptural evidence, theistic conduct, and perseverance in practice. Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati's purport. Evidence. Devotional scriptures, Srimad Bhagavatam, the Vedas, the Puranas, the Gita, etc. Theistic conduct. The conduct of sadhus who are pure devotees and the conduct of pious persons who practice devotion to Godhead actuated by spontaneous love. Practice. Learning about the ten basic principles, Dasamula, from the Shastras, and chanting the name by serving him night and day. The tenfold offense to the holy name ceases by serving the name of Hari 
and simultaneously practicing pious conduct. Practice is no other than following the mode of service of the name practiced by sadhus without offense. By perseverance in such practice and devotion characterized by love, which is the fruit of spiritual endeavor, makes her appearance in the pure essence of the soul. These preliminary practices of devotion, sadhana bhakti, are conducive to the realization of loving devotion. Loving devotion, than whom there is no superior well-being, who goes hand in hand with the attainment of the exclusive state of supreme bliss, and who can lead to myself. Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati's purport. The Jiva soul has no better well-being than loving devotion. In this is realized the final beatitude of jivas. The lotus feet of Krishna are attainable only by loving devotion. He who cultivates the preliminary devotional activities anxiously, keeping in view that realized state of devotion, can alone attain to that object of all endeavor. No one else can have the same.